Hey there, Makeup Aficionados. I'm Ali Kona Bradford, and welcome back. Today, your Los Angeles makeup artist is going to be showing you how to do a look that Penelope Cruz wore at the Oscars. So we're going to get started. It's pretty chic and easy to wear for any occasion. This is my lovely model, Erica. Hey. Let's get started right away. I've already prepped her eyes with a little bit of concealer. We did a red undertone concealer because it cancels out any discoloration in the eye. Okay, so I'm going to get started right away by putting a little bit of eyeshadow base on her. And what this is going to do is hold on the color so that way it grabs really nice, it won't crease, and her makeup is going to last the entire night. And we're doing it from lash line all the way to the brow bone. I like to start from the top and work my way down. So I'm going to do a cream color. Close your eyes. This is a matte color. It's called Blank Type. It's one of my favorites, so you'll notice I use it all the time. And I'm just pressing the color into the eyeshadow base because it allows the color to build and show up more vibrantly. You'll also notice that I have a little bit of a tape there. That's my cheat method. So if you want that nice lift to your eye without making a mess, you just use a little bit of tape. Okay, so I am putting a warm color in her crease. This is what I like to call a buffing shade. I know you've heard me say it all the time. It's what makes that dark color blend in really nice. We're using a fluffy brush because it doesn't put as much color on the lid. So we don't want anything super heavy. The purpose of this color is not necessarily to show up, but just to give a smooth blend. And I'm going in circles and wisping it back and forth. So this look is pretty natural, but does have a little bit of a pop a little bit of a gold shimmer, so that's what's really gonna be our focus. So once I have that light brown color, I'm gonna go in with something just a little bit darker. Right in the deep crease. In fact, Erica, I'm gonna have you leave your eyes open for me for just a second. So with her eyes open, I can see exactly where her crease falls. And I'm gonna focus on this outer corner. I'm using a red brown. I like red browns just because they're nice and warm. They don't make the skin look sallow. This color in particular is a flat shade. It's called Foley. We've used it before. And it works on all types of skin types. So I don't want anybody to say, oh, my skin's not that color. I can't use it. Yes, you can. Okay, so now that we've got that color in the crease, and just know that dark pushes back. So we're creating depth on the bone. Since it already goes back on her own, just due to the shape of her eye, we're going to bring that color up. Now for that pop of color, I'm going to use something called Amber Lights. It's a frost. Close your eyes. And I'm using a flat bristle brush. It holds a lot of color, which is why I love it so much. I don't have to dip back and forth into my product. And I'm just pressing it into the eyeshadow base. This pressing motion right here is going to build the color, whereas the sweeping motion is buffing out the color. So this has a little bit of a burnt, like rustic color. I want it to get a little bit more golden. So I'm going to take a pigment, which is a loose form of color, and I'm just going to press it on top. This one's called Old Gold. It's got some green in it. It's got some gold in it. Let's just brighten it down. And then I'm going to take a pencil that's smudgeable. Go and close your eyes because Penelope is known for her eyeliner. But she doesn't always wear a liquid liner. I know a lot of celebrities that are always into that liquid. I've noticed she does a lot of pencil. So we do something that's a really soft lead, that way we can blend it out. And we gently do small strokes right on the lash line. And then, don't worry if it's not a very neat line because you can go back with a brush and blend it out. And I'm using an angle brush. So you can use an angle brush, or there's another brush called a 212 that I really like that's flat all the way across. It's nice and firm and gives you good control over your product. So I'm going to follow my tape and go all the way out. Go ahead and open your eyes. So a lot of times I'll even do my makeup with my eyes open, just so I can see where the color is being placed. And as you can tell, this is not as harsh and sharp as a liquid. That's why I like it. So I go back in. And even for myself, my eyes are always open when I'm doing it to myself. The difference is that sometimes I'll have to turn my head to stretch the skin. So if I'm going on the inside of my eye, look at the camera. I'll go here to the outside, look at the camera again. Excuse me, here on the inside of the eye. So it stretches the skin a little bit more. So for me, I'm going to have you look down but out. And this is just because I'm doing it on a model. 
and then down the other direction. Going right into her waterline, working it into the roots of her lash. This is going to give the illusion of a thicker line and a thicker lash. Just want to look straight ahead. And I can also do a little bit on the bottom. The tape is blocking just a little bit, but that's okay. We're going to take it off pretty soon. And you'll notice this is a pretty quick makeup. Like, we're almost finished. Because I want to do a makeup that we can do for every day. All right. One, two, three. There we go. Real quick. <laughs> Making her cry. She's so emotional <laughs> because it's such a beautiful makeup. <sighs> it's the allergies. No, oh, it's me. Come on now. Oh, it's makeup. Yeah, it's the makeup artist. <laughs> she makes it. She makes it. All right. So you can either leave it like that, look straight at my camera, or we can go ahead and fill in. Erica has beautiful round eyes, so we can afford to fill in without it enclosing the eye and making it look smaller. Plus, this dark color with her eye color is going to make it pop a little bit more. Look straight ahead. There we go. So I'm going to throw some mascara on her. We'll do some lashes later on also, just to give it that extra elegant look. Look down at the ground, please. And if you're doing it on yourself, usually I'll tilt my chin back. So that way I'm still staring into the mirror, but it's also stretching my lid. So that way the hairs in my lash don't hit my lid and mess up my makeup. And then doing the lower. You can see how clean her outside line is. And we can always go back and soften it up a little bit. So that way it doesn't look too harsh. Although it looks great on her eye shape. Just go back with a clean brush. You always want to blend out with a clean brush. And then I'm going to fill in her eyebrow because it just finishes up the look. Here's my theory on eyebrows. They always say that your eyes are the windows to your soul. So why would you have shabby curtains? You wouldn't. <laughs> That's why I'm such a stickler for brows. She's laughing, but she's laughing because she knows it's true. it's true. So I'm just doing a brow pencil and lightly putting it into the brow. You'll notice I'm not doing heavy strokes. I'm doing short, lightweight ones, so that way it looks natural and it matches in with her hair. Same thing, I'm doing an angle brush, but you can also do a flat brush, a flat hair brush. Okay, so I'm putting glue on her lash. I'm using a black duo. Go ahead and look down at the ground. Got some nice long wispy lashes. I start from the inside and then I just go to the, or excuse me, outside in. Look straight back. There we go. And then I just kind of maneuver them downward. We'll get that straggler later on. But for now, we're gonna go to the other side. I'm gonna speed through that really fast so you don't have to sit through the whole process, but you get to see the finished product. Thursday 8 p.m. There's a new video for you, so thank you so much for joining, and I will.